I've read a ton of Stephen King books, but which of Stephen King's books will I never reread again? Probably. Hi, my name is Jake and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about all the Stephen King books that I really don't have any desire to go back and reread. Now, never is a strong word. Some of these books I probably will never reread again. Some of these I basically just have no desire to reread. Maybe like in the distant future, I can go back and read all of his books in chronological order, maybe. But even then, some of these books, I'm probably still going to skip just because I know how much I'm not going to enjoy them. Uh, and it's it's sad because a lot of Stephen King books I do love and I do really enjoy. And I've reread several of them. Some of my all-time favorites, The Dead Zone, Misery, you know, The Dark Tower, I've reread several times. And even books that I don't absolutely love, I can still get some enjoyment out out of them. Like even Pet Cemetery, I reread it and it wasn't quite as good as the first time I read it, but I will probably read that book again sometime in the future and I will find something to like about it. But with these books, I, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I'm looking at them and I'm just like, do I really want to put myself through that again? Probably not. But you know what? Enough of the preamble. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I wasn't really sure what order to put these in, so I just settled on chronological order. And of course, the first one I have to talk about is Rage, which is the first published Richard Bachman book. Now, I've read this book twice now. Uh, the last time I read it was last year during the Stephen King readathon. Uh, the first time that I read it, I didn't enjoy it. I thought I, I didn't really like any of the characters. I didn't like how hard it was to suspend my disbelief for like something that's supposed to be realistic. It, it, it was just problematic and I didn't really enjoy it. And the second time through, I had the exact same complaints. So why would I put myself through this book? It's, it's easily my least favorite Richard Bachman book. Definitely still one of my least favorite King books that he's ever written. And I just don't really get any enjoyment out of it. Like, it's not a terrible book by any means, but it's not a book that I just absolutely love. It's not a book that I really want to go back and reread ever again. So, yeah, I probably will never read re read this one again unless, like I said, I'm doing, like, a read-through of all of his books. At least it's short. So, like, so if I have to do it, I can knock it out in a few hours, but, like, I really don't want to. The next one I have to talk about is easily my least favorite Stephen King book that I've managed to finish. And of course, you guys know it's The Talisman, uh, written by Stephen King and Peter Straub. Uh, I, I really did not like this book. I, you know, I, I hate to use the word hate for a Stephen King book. I try to reserve those for truly terrible books. But man, I really had a rough time with this book. I didn't enjoy any of the characters. Most of this was a slog to get through. I didn't really like the writing. And in some portions, you can definitely tell that it's not Stephen King writing it. I am interested to try Peter Straub's other books to see if I enjoy his writing on its own and not mingled with Stephen King. I'm sure I will. But just this book just did not work for me at all. I gave it one and a half stars. And I have zero desire to go back and read it. I will eventually read Black House. And actually, I probably will have to do it this year because over on my Discord, I have a, a game that I play with my members, uh, Guess the Beat. And one of my uh, Discord members says that when he wins, he's going to choose Black House for me to read. So probably sometime this year you will get a book review on Black House and I will have read every Stephen King book. 
Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, God. The next book I have to talk about, uh, I actually think this book was written before The Talisman. I think I messed that up. Oh, well. <laughs> but the next book is Dance Macabre. I read this book one time, and yeah, I, this one's probably the most definite. Like, I will never reread again because I got very little enjoyment out of this. It's nonfiction. It's very scholarly, very dry. Just basically Stephen King talking about horror fiction. Uh, I think both movies and literature. And I just really didn't enjoy it. Like, there was some, like, interesting tidbits here and there. But overall, very boring. This took me a long time to read, and it's not even that big of a book. But yeah, I just, I really didn't enjoy it. And I don't see the need to put myself through this book again. So this book will probably never be reread by me. This next book is a case where it's not bad. In fact, it is a good story, but it, it'll just be easier to explain. Uh, Storm of the Century. Now, this was a pretty good miniseries, and that's the main reason why I don't feel the need to reread this again, because it's literally the screenplay of the miniseries. And it's literally just describing what happens in the screen and what happens in the miniseries and what the characters say and do. Literally, I could just watch it and get the exact same story without having to put really any real effort into it. And it's actually a pretty good miniseries for anybody who hasn't seen it. It's a pretty good story. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really feel the need to reread this, not because it's bad, but because I can just watch the miniseries. This next book I've read twice. The first time I didn't really like it, but then I heard a few people saying like, oh yeah, this was actually pretty good. I think it's underrated. So I read it for the Stephen King readathon and thought like, oh, maybe I'll enjoy it better the second time. And I didn't. <laughs> and that would be Cell. Uh, it, and it sucks too, because it's got such a interesting, cool premise and it's got a pretty good start to the story. But for me, it doesn't really go anywhere with it and the characters aren't very great or memorable. Basically, a lot of this book isn't memorable, ex ex besides like the start of the book, where the apocalypse starts because of like cell phone and people starts going crazy. It could have been a really cool short story or even novella, but I feel like he stretched it out and then the ending really didn't, it, he didn't stick the landing. And overall, it's just not a book that I want to sit through again because... I know it's got a good start, but where it goes, it's just like, why? This next book is Stephen King's all-time favorite book that he's ever written. Certainly not mine, and certainly not a lot of people's favorite. And of course, that would be Lisey's story. And it's kind of sad because the characters in here are actually good, and parts of this story are good, but there's a lot that I don't love in this book that like just me me thinking about rereading it I'm just like I I don't want to do that mainly because of like the characters interact the main character Lisey hit her interaction with her husband and like their secret lovey-dovey language like on every other page uh just really grinded my gears I really hated reading that and then the supernatural aspect that goes along with this I didn't enjoy either. I feel like the book could have actually been pretty interesting if it was more grounded in reality, which of course, you know, is a complaint with a lot of Stephen King books that I have. I think it could have been more of a grounded book and actually been pretty compelling, but that part of, always took me out of the story. I feel like this book could have been really good and that's what kind of irks me with it. It had a lot of potential, but overall I just, Anytime I feel like I, I could reread this, I'm just reminded of all that stuff that I hated about this book. And I'm just like, eh, I don't want to put myself through that. This next book is the shortest on the list. So I probably could reread this again, but I have basically zero desire to do so. I know a lot of people do actually enjoy this one, but for me, I, I thought it was dumb. And that would be Elevation. It kind of... Like, like, he basically just reuses the plot device in Thinner, where, you know, the guy, you know, loses weight and he doesn't know how to stop it. Basically the same thing in this, except 
it doesn't really look like he's losing weight, but he's still losing weight. Uh, and then there's like trouble with people in the town or something. I, I really just didn't enjoy this one. There's the conflict in here, like there basically wasn't any real conflict. And that was my main struggle with this. Also, I have a bit of beef with it because like I paid almost full price for this and it's basically a short story. Like it says it's a novel, which is a, a bit cheeky, but like it's a short story. So uh, at least for this one, like if I ever did, I mean, I, I don't want to reread it, but if I had to, for some reason, it's super short. Like you can get, you can get through this in like an hour. So if I was forced to read any of these, it would probably be this one, but I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> and the last two books I have to talk about go together. And again, another sad thing because the first book I really enjoyed, but these two I felt just really didn't add anything to the story. And the first one should have been a standalone. You can probably guess what I'm talking about, but of course, talking about Gwendy's Magic Feather and Gwendy's Final Task. Now, this one I liked the least. I gave it two stars, solely written by Richard Chismar. I, for a lot of this book, I was puzzled by what the point of it was. There's so many chapters in here, and this is another thing. I really don't like very short chapters, especially when a book, this book is less than 200 pages, but it has like 80 chapters. Some of them are two pages or less, and pre pretty much all of the chapters are five pages or less. So it doesn't feel like anything substantial happens in the book, and really not a lot happens in the book. So it was really discouraging to see, you know, Gwendy, who I actually really enjoyed in the first one, be put through such a boring, nonsense crap. <laughs> so I really didn't enjoy that one. And then Final Task... Like, at least, you know, at least sus stuff happened in this book, but none of it I really enjoyed. I mean, the Dark Tower stuff is cool, but overall, just... Uh, oh, that's upside down. Uh, uh, I just really didn't enjoy this. I wish... Uh, I've got it right here. I wish book one would have just been a standalone. Like, this was a really good novella. It should have just been left alone. But, of course, we have these two, which... I'll probably, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll definitely reread this one, but will I ever read these? Probably not. Like, I don't, I don't like them. I like this one. You should have just left this one alone. All right, so those are some Stephen King books that I really don't have any desire to go back and reread. Now, of course, there's some books that are probably worse than these books that I probably still will go back and reread. I'm thinking of something like Bag of Bones, which I've only read once, and I'm very curious to see if I like it better the second time because I've heard so many people say that it is very good. And then you've got stuff like The Tommy Knockers, which, you know, is not a very good Stephen King book, but there are moments in here that are pretty good. So I would give that book another shot. And then there's stuff like Dreamcatcher, which I've said is a little underrated, especially part one of Dreamcatcher is very good. Uh, and then there's some other ones. Uh, there, there aren't a lot of Stephen King books that I would just flat out never reread, but these are some of them that I would, if, if I had a choice, I would not reread these ones. Uh, I probably, not probably, but if I ever do, you know, like a, a thing where I go back and reread all of his books. I may pick up some of these, but I would hate them. I would hate my time with them and I know it. So probably not. So what I want to know is, do you agree with any of my picks here? Uh, do you, have you read any of these books? Do you have any desire to go back and reread them? What are some Stephen King books that you've read before that you have zero desire to go back and reread? Please let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and the Book Astronomer Discord. I also have my Patreon page and my Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.